what I'm getting at is, is that this is a team that won 40 games last year. Okay, it's very similar makeup, right? Very little change. I think last year's personnel to this year's personnel, this year's personnel as a whole is better. Definitely. But if we keep playing the same way, how much better are we going to be than 40 and 42? Mm. Not very. If the personnel doesn't <laughs> change, how you play has to change. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. exactly. And you can't mm. sit here and say, well, their defense has to get better. Their de- well, the defense I, I, was pretty darn good. <laughs> it was fifth rated in the league. What, <laughs> yeah. What's the weakness? The weakness was offense. Offense, yep. yeah, it's going. All right, was it, it, was in my, it, it was not enough threes per se, but I think that's kind of that's, that's a misnomer. I think what it is is not necessarily so much. But Respectfully, I disagree. They had the lowest three-point volume in the NBA for I get two that. running seasons. But you know how you also correct that? More possessions. Mm. Well, their uh, attempt rate, meaning their the volume of threes that they took per 100 possessions, was also towards the bottom. But I agree that, like, it's not just like, okay, DeMar, no more mid-range shots. Like, right. you only shoot threes now. Like, I right. think that would ruin the offense. You, you put the guys in the best position – that they can to succeed, right? And so that means giving DeMar the ball where he needs it. But it also means giving Vooch the ball where he needs it. Mm-hmm. And spacing out the floor, using other shooters like Javon Carter and Torrey Craig to where maybe they get a kick out and shoot a three. But maybe now there's just more space in the paint where mm-hmm. DeMar can get all the way to the rim and get to the free throw line. And that's super efficient offense too. Seriously. Yeah, but, it, but when you let's talk about guys that you know are going to play significant minutes. Okay? Zach Levine and Patrick Williams. What... What is the, the strength of their game? Open court play. We need more from Patrick Williams, right? So how yes. do we get more from him? We're not going to hand him the ball and go, go to work in the half court. Right. You've got to run to get him the ball, to get him out on the floor. People are saying, well, now, wait a minute. You just said that, you know, you're going to make Patrick Williams the guy that takes the ball out of bounds. No, I'm, it's, it's all about matchup. Mm-hmm. If you feel Patrick Williams has a better matchup than Vooch does, Vooch takes the ball out of bounds. We changed up every game. It wasn't like 82 games, Horace Grant took the ball out, or I took the ball out. Or Bill. It changed every game. Mm-hmm. But you know that from the get-go. And that's where I think it makes P. Will more effective. It makes Zach more effective. All right? Where's Kobe best? Transition. Transition, yeah. Okay? Where do you think Torrey Craig's going to be best at? I'm running. <laughs> okay? Where do you think that Alex Caruso is going to – how is he going to get to the rim? So let's start going down the list Mm -hmm. of what makes this team – what's the easiest thing to make this team better without having to overhaul the offense? Play at a higher pace, push the basketball. Mm -hmm. Who does that hurt the most? DeMar. Right. But what happens in the fourth quarter? I don't care if it's the playoffs, it's the regular season. What happens in the fourth quarter? Buckets. The ball slows down. Mm -hmm. Not intentionally. Coaches are calling timeout. Coaches become more um, controlling as far as wanting to call all the plays. Mm -hmm. It just slows down. So, Jamar, you're going to get a lot of touches in that fourth quarter. Yes. All right? And you are a master at hitting difficult shots. Mm Mm-hmm. You'll get to the free throw line. You'll get your touches. Yep. But if you only have six or eight at halftime, so what? Yeah. And if you're – what was the scoring average last year? DeMar, like 24, 24 and a half or something 24. like that. 24. So do you think if his scoring average goes from 24 to 18, yet they're winning more games than anybody will say anything? No. Negative? His, his agent might. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a contract He's year. He's coming up on a contract. Okay, but. you're exactly right. But I can promise you that there's – Honestly, there might be more teams out there just seeing about to say a that. veteran DeMar willing to take yes. on that kind of role. Just about to say Well, that. let's just say this. Contracts. The teams that he wants to go to. Yeah. Right, right, right. Meaning – The Clippers or the Lakers. Clippers or the <laughs> Lakers. See, I'm glad you – This is exactly the style I've Boston, been, I've, I've been Philly, saying, Will. Like, Milwaukee. that's why I'm glad you're saying all this. Like, we, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, too. Just um, about you don't have to put DeMar on a bench, you know, for no. the Bulls to just run. Like, you need, you're going to need that kind of guy so on your team. 